of this tutorial, we should have an end result where we can grab an object on the left side with our left hand and grab it with the right hand on the right side and swap in between. All right, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial uh, to kind of show how to have a two hands kind of offset uh, if you want to grab an object not in the center. So typically when you grab an object, you're going to grab it and it's going to be in the anchor point of that object, uh, which in some cases might be all right. Um, but with this case, I want to be able to have the left hand grab it on the left side and the right hand grab it on the right side, as opposed to oh, just being anchored here. So when we're done this tutorial, we should have an end result where we can grab an object on the left side with our left hand and grab it with the right hand on the right side and swap in between. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. All right, so I already have it completed, so I'm going to walk through the process with you and you can follow along. So the first thing that we're going to do is on our game object that we want to have that two hand swap, let's go ahead and click on that. And we need to add a couple of empty game objects. Uh, one will be called left hand attach or whatever you want to call it. It's basically going to be the, the attachment point for the left hand and one for the right hand. And you'll notice that as I click on them, they're positioned are kind of where we want uh, that grab to be. And we also have a box collider added to those. Um, and that box collider just really is showing the kind of grab point that we want to have for uh, for the two hand, for the, for the left and the right hand. So go ahead and on the object that you want to have the two hand kind of offset swap, Go ahead and add two empty game objects, position them accordingly so that they are where you want that grab to be. Um, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to that. Um, all right, so once you've got those added with the box collider, let's go back and click on our game object that's the interactable. And we need to scroll down to where we've got our XR grab interactable. And we want to open up the colliders list here and add two elements to that list. And we're going to drag the left hand and the right hand um, game objects that we just added into that list there. And so we've added our empty game objects with the colliders. We've populated our colliders list with those empties that we just created. Now we're going to go down and scroll to the end of our uh, inspector and we're going to add a new component. We're going to add a new script. I called it switch hands. And let's take a look at that script now. So the first thing you're going to need to add is add a namespace for the XR Interaction Toolkit that will allow you to reference some of the classes. And I'll go through the script and then leave it uh, on the screen so you can pause the video and, and copy it down. So the first thing we need to do is add a class reference to this XR Grab Interactable, which uh, for your reference is the this component here, this class that we're going to reference. So I just called it Grab Interactable. And then we've added four serialized fields. We've added two for our left hand attach, and those are of type transform. And those are going to be used to reference these transforms that we've added here. And then we've added two other serialized fields that we're going to reference um, the left and right hand interactor. Okay, and that's going to reference the actual game object that is interacting with this um, interactable. Okay, and we'll populate those in the inspector in a few moments here. So in our start, in our start function here, we're going to populate or uh, initialize this grab interactable um, by getting the component XR grab interactable. Then we have a, a public method and we have it set as the accessor modifier as public because we need to be able to reference it from the interactable event system. If it's set to private, we won't be able to. And inside that we have just two if statements. We are going to be referencing the grab interactable. So that's the, the component that's on this object the selecting interactor, and then the name of that. And we're comparing if that's equal to the left hand. Okay, and if it is, it's going to adjust this attached transform. So this attached transform is referring to, it's referring to this pr property within the XR grab interactable. So it's gonna allow us to adjust it to be either the one for the left or one, the one for the right. And what we're doing in here is it's going to basically see if the, is the game object that is grabbing it, is it the left game object or the right game object? And we'll, I'll show you in Unity in a second what we're referring to. If it is the left one, we're going to adjust the attach transform to the left hand attach transform that we've populated in the inspector. If it's the right hand that's grabbing it, we're going to adjust the attach transform to the right hand attach transform that we've populated in the inspector. Right, so 
I'll leave this uh, script uh, up on the screen. Go ahead and pause the video here. Let me just zoom out a bit. And go ahead and pause the video and copy this down here. One thing you don't want to forget is make sure you add in this namespace at the very top. Otherwise, you won't be able to reference this XR Grab Interactable class. All right, so I'll leave this pause. Go ahead, or I'll leave this on the screen. Go ahead and pause the video. And then when we come back, we will continue. All right, so now that you've got the script complete, Let's go ahead and make sure that you've, you've added that to our game object. So here I've got my switch hands. And what we need to do for these four fields that we've uh, exposed in the inspector, we need to, for the left hand attach and the right hand attach, just drag these two empties we created earlier in the process, drag that to those fields. For the left hand and right hand interactor, what we're going to actually reference is in our XR rig, you probably have created a game object that has your direct interactor. So when, it's, when the script is referring to interactor, so if I go back into the script, it's, it's talking about the selecting interactor. It's referring to the game object uh, that is selecting this, and it, it will have this direct interactor. So what we're doing is we're basically saying, is the object, or sorry, is the interactor that's grabbing it, is it the same one as in, is it the, is it the same one that we've populated in, in, the, uh, in the inspector? So if we take a look down here, all we're going to do is we're going to drag our left hand grab and our right hand grab. And in this case, in your case, it might be something different. Whatever game object has that XR direct interactor, that's what you're going to populate in the uh, left hand and right hand interactors. And then what we need to do is we need to have a way for the, the function, the swap hands function in the script to be called. If we take a look at the interactable events. Uh, there are lots of different events we can access. And so one we're going to access is the select enter. So that's basically when the object is selected or grabbed, it's going to execute any of the um, functionality that we have in this event. So we'll go ahead and click this little plus icon. And all we need to do is drag the switch hand script into the left side. And what you can do with these events is you can access any of the components that are on the in the inspector here. Okay, And the script is also considered the component. So here we can see our switch hand script. And because we made that swap hands uh, function public, it'll appear in here. If we made it private, we wouldn't see it as an option. So I'll go ahead and select swap hands. And now when I play, um, we'll go ahead and play and you'll see on the tablet here, on the attached transform, you'll see this swap in between the left and the right, depending on which hand is grabbing it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it with my left hand. You should see in the inspector that it said left hand attach. I grab it with my right, it's swapped. And it doesn't matter which one I start with first, it'll work just fine.